just a note, something to think about. Mm -hmm. And then last, keep it simple for the web. I just found this photo. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> this is for real. This is actual a real summon streaming setup. Obviously not for a live fundraiser. It looks like a gaming setup, like a vlogger. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of computers involved in this process. I just thought it was entertaining. I'm sure this gentleman or you know is doing a fabulous job. They got the ring lights, they got the digital SLR cameras for two shots. It's beautiful, but you don't need to go, what I'm saying, you don't need to go that heavy. Um, you don't need all that gear, but certainly um, if you see any of our professional setups that are complicated, they do start looking like that. It's a little scary. Don't get scared. Don't get scared about that. How many screens do you use, Paul? How many screens do you typically have in front of you when you? Yeah, are for an average show for a nonprofit fundraiser, I'm going to have my main switching computer, which is um, I'm going to have a secondary computers, usually laptops, um, three of them on site for for graphics, playback, for talent, um, and for utility work in the back end of YouTube. Um, we usually have a redundant computer in the field. It usually stays in a case in case the main one goes down. Um, that hasn't happened, but um, um, something to consider. Um, you need a lot of computers. And although we laugh at this photo, that's about how many screens I use. So I guess I shouldn't make fun of it. <laughs> I just like it that, that someone doing, someone's doing it themselves, which I love the cameras are pointed back at them. So. We uh, to, uh, we recommend to our client to have two screens, right? All right, especially the ones we're doing to DIY, so they can have like one screen up where something like StreamYard up, so they can choose which content would go live, and then another screen with, well, maybe dashboard is what we're recommending, right? So that they yes. can see what content is going to go live for the donors at that time, and we yeah. keep telling them, hey, with these two, and again, if you've practiced enough, you should be able to manage. But obviously, having more people and assistance is always great, but great. It's really I'm watching the time. I'll address that right now because um, maybe before we, we got on um, uh, this uh, uh, pay uh, live stream with you folks, uh, we were discussing that and how do I have my clients use pay -B? Well, usually I have them do their own backend because they made the interface very simple, okay? But I like to be close to my clients, um, you know, we wear our masks and we're safe certainly during these times, but I like to keep my clients relatively close to table way where I can actually see their screen, you know, off to the corner if I have to give them some directions and I can kind of just have a line of sight. So um, um, that's, that's a great point. So.